The Red Lake Nation is banding together in hopes of finding solutions to the rise in violence in the classroom. After reports of fights and verbal abuse in the hallways of the Red Lake School District, community members and leaders decided to take an initiative to solve the issue. Reporter Mary Ballstead has more. An unexpected effect of the pandemic is starting to disrupt lesson plans. Youth fights in schools across the nation have risen, said one in three school leaders in a study from the Institute of Education Sciences. If the youth in the community don't have enough to do, or if they don't, if they feel like they don't have access to mental health or supportive services, resources, um, they're gonna naturally act out in ways that ends up being violence or negative behaviors. But it's so much deeper than that. Violence is just an outcome of all the trauma that's going on in their lives. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think sometimes we look at the end result and we try to solve it based on that. But really, we're not looking at the root causes. However, some communities are starting to fight back. The Red Lake Nation saw members and leaders gather to find solutions in order to alleviate this stressful situation. How we are going to, um, you know, come together to take care of our youth. Um, you know, I don't really want to pinpoint youth violence. It's just, you know, us being there for them and being committed to them. It's all about that commitment. It's a, as simple as just showing up coming together like this there's people here from different backgrounds different travel programs and I think we're all getting a sense of realization that we got to start working together again to provide more programming and resources for our kids along with discussing solutions which included cultural programs or even helping teachers in and between classes the Red Lake community members and leaders also challenged themselves to commit to bettering the lives of the students of Red Lake and the surrounding area there is a large percentage of our young band members that do attend neighboring schools. So, you know, as we're working through this together here on the reservation, you know, of course we would love to branch out and, you know, maybe even bring in school officials from our surrounding areas. It's on us now to take action to help provide opportunities and help empower our kids. Reporting from Red Bee, Mary Balsted, Lakeland News. The next Red Lake Youth Violence Prevention Meeting is planned for November 9th at the Red Lake High School. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.